Oi friends, today we're going to be adding a progress bar since one person asked me to make it. Currently we just have these numbers displaying our health and it'd be nice to actually have a progress bar. So we can go onto our HUD or onto our canvas and we can get rid of this current health text, max health text and middle because we're not going to be needing it anymore. And inside of it, I'm going to create a new UI image. I'm going to name this one progress bar. And inside of it, I'm going to create a new UI image and call this one fill. In order for this to work properly, I'll go to my progress bar and to my fill. So just shift left click and I'm going to change the source image under image to something else. But I'm going to use this UI sprite. I'm going to change the progress bar width to about 250 and the height to about 50. And then for the fill image, you can press this little uh, middle center thingy, hold alt and then click this in the bottom right and it will automatically fill to that image. You can see if I change the color, it's filled to the progress bar image. And now you can go left five, top five, right five and bottom five. And now it's going to have a small outline. You could definitely go higher with this, maybe like 10, but that's all up to you. I'm going to go for 7.5 actually. I think it looks a lot better. Inside of it, I'm also going to add a text. So right click progress bar UI text and this one is going to be amount. I'm going to set both the width and height to 30. Then I'm going to click this anchor, hold alt and click this left one. So it parents to the left side. And then you can add a small offset of maybe like 40 or something. I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to change the font size to 24. And I'm also going to uh, set the horizontal overflow to overflow and vertical overflow to overflow as well. And now we can set this to zero zero and see how it will look uh, maybe with with some numbers inside of it. Now I just realized that this is actually pretty small. So I'll change my width of the progress bar to about 350 and the height to 100 or the height to 75. And I'm also going to change the font size to about 44. And also set the anchor to middle here. So we'll have to reposition the progress bar with the position on the X to about 50. I also want to go to my fill image set the image type to filled, fill method to horizontal and fill origin to left. And now you can see if I change my fill amount, it changes it as well. You can see that this sprite doesn't look good anymore with the filled amount. So I'll go ahead into paint.net and just, oh, sorry. I'll just quickly create a nice 1024 by 1024 image with just white. So just the bucket, that's it. File, save as, and I'm going to go into my FPS game uh, icons and I'll save it inside of there as a box. And now in Unity, we can go into our resources, create a folder for UI. And inside of it, I'm just going to put my newly created texture. Make sure you change the max size to 1024 and the texture type to Sprite and make sure you apply. Now go back to your fill object and change to box. And now you can see it looks very nice and it actually looks like a progress bar. Now I would suggest maybe changing the uh, text color to something else than white because this way you won't be able to see it. So I'll go for a grayish color and I'll also set the font style to bold just so it looks a bit better. And now we just need to change this to script. So I'll go ahead and I'll go to my scripts folder. I'm going to create a new folder for UI. And inside of it, I'm going to create a progress bar C sharp script, open it, delete the default functions. And inside of it, I'm going to create a two, two new ints, private int for base value and a private int for max value. Then I also need a reference to my image. So I'll go serialize field, private image fill. And currently we do not, the Unity doesn't know what an image is here. So I'll have to be using Unity engine.ui. And now we know what an image is and we'll need two new functions. So we'll need a public void 
for set values. And this function will take in a base value and a max value. So I'll just name them like this. With a small underscore here, so we know how to di differentiate between these two. And I will also need a private void to calculate fill amount. So we're going to create a new float, call it fill amount, and it's going to be equal to uh, our base value divided by our max value. Some pretty simple math. So if this is 10 divided by a max of 100, then that will be 0 0.1. And that's how much we need to fill our uh, our progress bar because you can see it only goes from 0 to 1. It's normalized. So we can just set this to 100 and, you know, work like that. We just have to clamp it between 0 and 1. So if I have 10 health out of 100, that's 10 divided by 100, 0 0.1, as you can see. Uh, if I have 50 health, that's 0 0.5, and so on. This would also work if you had like 200 health, it would still be the same. So now we have the fill amount, and we just have to go fill dot fill amount is equal to fill amount, just like that. And now we can set the proper progress for the bar. We just have to use the values. So I'll just set the base value equal to the new given base value. And I'll set the max value equal to the new given max value. And then I'll just calculate fill amount. And we'll want to call this each time we uh, set it up. We also want the uh, text to show up. So I'll create a new serialized field private text. And I'll call it amount. And in our set values function, I'm just going to go ahead and before I calculate fill amount, I'll just say uh, amount dot text is equal to base value. So now we're going to know how much health we have also numerically, not just by looking at the progress bar. You just have to say to string because this is a int and it's not going to work that well. And also in order for this to work, these two are integers. So, uh, it might not work always if you maybe have like 10.25 HP. So I'm just going to cast them as floats uh, just so Unity maybe has to, uh, you know, do some floats and so we don't get any glitches. So we're basically making these floats. So not just uh, complete numbers, but also with decimal points as well. And now we just have to use this in our player HUD. So I'll go back to my player HUD and we already have a function for update health which just updates the text. Uh, so we can remove these two texts right here because we don't need them any, anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and say uh, private progress bar. I'm going to call this one health bar. Okay. And I'll make sure I serialize this because it's much easier that way. Uh, and whenever we update health, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say health bar dot set values. And I'm going to set I'm going to give for the base value, I'm going to give the current health and for the max health, I'm going to give it the max health. Okay. And now you can see this one is has one reference in our player stats, which is called each time we update health. And now it should just update our progress bar. So if I go ahead and attach a progress bar script to my progress bar and set the fill to the fill object and the amount to the amount object, and at this point, you can save this as a prefab. So I'll go into prefabs, create a new folder for UI. And inside of it, I'll just drag my progress bar. And now I can maybe reuse it and so on. Also in our player HUD script, I also want to give it the health bar. So just drag the progress bar that we just created and click play. Our health gets set and I also added a function that just removes 10 health each time I press T just so I can show it. And if when we reach zero, we die and that's it. Thank you for joining. Next time we'll be adding the inventory UI. So some weapons and, and shit so we can see what we have equipped. Hopefully this helped you. It was quite a shorter one and enjoy your day. Okay, now bye bye.